Good morning, Kentucky. The big question entering the Cats championship game against Stanford in the Cancun Challenge. Would Patrick Patterson play after tweaking his ankle? And your answer? Oh, yeah. Cats going down low early. DeMarcus Cousins showing the touch. Now, Patrick Patterson played just six minutes in the first half, but found a way to knock down that triple. Later on, Kentucky moving the ball around. John Wall kicks it out to Eric Bledsoe, who swings it over to Darius Miller, dialing it up from distance. Cats up 10-4. Then Wall going to work. The up and under. Nice move for two. Miller had the hot hand for the Cats in the first half. This was another big three. He actually had 13 points on the night. Kentucky up 15-11. But Stanford played well, pushing the tempo at times, giving the Cats a taste of their own medicine. Cardinal up six at the break. Cats down five in the second half. Eric Bledsoe comes up with a steal. He'll miss the layup. But have no fear. John Wall is here. Three-point ball game. Kentucky now down one. Just give it to the All-American. Great move. Cats back out front. How about Big Cuz? Now, I don't know what you call this, but it goes for two. He gets the friendly roll. This one went to overtime. Kentucky pulls it out in the extra period, 73-65. The U.K. women's basketball team remained undefeated as they beat UC Santa Barbara yesterday, 68-54. Victoria Dunlap led the way for the Cats with 17 points. Tennessee has one of the best defenses in the SEC against the run. However, the Cats have been running it with great success the past couple of weeks. And let's face it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're going to run the ball. Simple as that. We're going to run and uh, we got to... We got to start with the offensive line. We got to put the game in their hands, and uh, and if we can get some push, and we can get some good uh, some good yards running the ball, and uh, and get positive gain that way. That way, we can be able to pass the ball. One of the things we've been uh, successful in doing is taking what people give us, and uh, when people play us with single safety, we got to throw the ball. When people play us two safeties, we got to run the ball, and and, uh, and then there's sometimes you got to run it when everybody in the stadium knows you got to run it. 27 seniors will be participating in Senior Day on Saturday, including quarterback Will Fiddler, who has already graduated and is giving up his final season of eligibility. The Cats have picked up another commitment in the class of 2010, and it's Nerman Delic, a 6'5", 220-pounder who plays both tight end and defensive end out of Dalton, Georgia. Delic was committed to Maryland but made the switch to Kentucky. The EKU basketball team played their third game in as many nights last night in the 2009 O'Reilly's Auto Parts CBE Classic. Colonels taking on Texas San Antonio. EKU moving around. Spencer Perrin, fall three. He had 11. How about Papa Opong on the receiving end of the great dish for two of his 14? EKU ends up hitting the game winner with 13 seconds left in the game. They win it 74-72. That's it for sports. Have a great day.